Okay, hello, this is Dr. James, and today I'm going to talk about electron beams and vacuum tubes. And here's a vacuum tube that I built myself, and magnets. Let's take a look at this, okay? Okay, so here is the vacuum tube that I built, and here's a little super magnet. And let's just talk about this guy for a little bit. So the way I built this is I took a piece of tubing. I have some glass tubing here. Actually, the, this is a little bit bigger diameter. I think this is 10 millimeters, and the one I used here is 15. And so um, I took a piece of copper wire, and I stuck it into the tubing, and I heated it up and pinched it. But typically that doesn't make a good vacuum seal and so I've had to do other things to make a better vacuum seal. Actually, no, you know what? No, on this one I used a copper or a tungsten wire. Tungsten wire seems to seal quite a bit and then I just added a copper um, wire on the outside to connect to it. I've made several different tubes and then uh, to make sure it seals I melted some wax and put it in there and if people are interested in a uh, how to make vacuum tubes, I might make a video on that. But um, this is, and then, uh, so in order to get the vacuum in there, I have a vacuum pump over here. Let's take a look at the vacuum pump. Okay. Here's my vacuum pump. And uh, I hook this tube up to the line on the vacuum pump and suck the air out of it. And then I heat it up and pinch it off. And if I do that right, I'll get a good vacuum inside of this. And the biggest problem I've had is the feed-through, the electrical feed-throughs. And I've tried a bunch of different techniques and wire materials and everything else, and that's always a problem getting a good feed-through. Okay. And so there is the vacuum tube, and this is a regular superconducting magnet, or uh, not superconducting, uh, super magnet. Neodymium supermagnet, and uh, these are cool things. Let's do some experiments with this. Okay. Okay. Hello, this is Dr. James, and today we're going to test out my new one electrode uh, plasma tube slash e beam tube. I think it's an e beam generator. Um, with our high voltage power supply that I showed how to make. And one of my other videos, that's right here, the racing coils on here. And let's hook our tube up to the sky and see how it operates. Very cool, huh? Okay, so here's our high voltage power supply. These are racing coils here. And I'm just going to use one of them. And uh, I have some sophisticated modulation on this guy. And we'll start this guy up. Okay, there we go. And I'll turn up the power. I have it at a pretty high modulation rate. And there we go. It's producing an E-beam that starts here and it travels down the tube. It's actually affected by when you bring your hand near it. Let's, let's take a magnet. We got a neodymium magnet on a screwdriver. Let's see. E beam bends that way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this magnet over. Okay, there we go. And now, see it deflects the opposite way. Very cool. So if it was a plasma going back and forth, it um would kind of spread out. It would go be deflected both ways, or maybe average out. It seems like it's one one polarity. It's definitely definitely bending the electron beam. Maybe we'll put it back the other way. Very cool, huh? Look at that. Very cool device, huh? And of course, the beam kind of bends away from my finger. So I bring it down here. I don't want to 
bring it too close to the high voltage because it's probably about 100,000, or actually only about 60,000 volts. Like what? Beam hitting down here? Anyway, very cool, huh? And this is my one electrode tube that I made out of uh, borosilicate glass. Very cool plasma device, huh? Do some interesting experiments with this, maybe. Okay. Let me turn off the light and see how it looks. There's our plasma tube. And we'll take our magnet and bend the light. Bend, it, bend the beam. Very cool, huh? Let me put it on a different setting. Maybe I can focus it better. It doesn't want to focus in the dark very well. There we go. That might be a better focus. Let's see if I can bend the beam. Let me put the magnet out the end of the screwdriver a little bit more. Very cool, huh? We'll flip the magnet over. Let's see if it bends the other way. Of course it does. For some reason the E-beam stays focused right down the center of the glass tube. Anyway, very cool. Look at that. Okay, here we have our high voltage transformer going and our E-beam, and here is our selenium crystal. And look at that. We can bend the E-beam with the crystal just being near the beam. Very interesting, huh? Okay, well, let's we'll see if we can get it to stay in focus in this setting a little bit better. Look at that. The E beam definitely bends away from the crystal. Very cool, huh? This is uh, Dr. James, and thanks for watching.